combination of the music and the story that the music told me just by listening and Holst's own words, the way he was describing what he was saying in a very metaphorical way, was exactly what I, what I love to do. It's what I built my, you know, my career on, as far, whether it's book covers or, or magazine stories or um, whatever. I, you know, it, it, it really all comes back to the, that combination, and, and here it was. I have found a new way to stay, I hope, relevant, and that is with a more sequential way of storytelling. It, it just takes me back to my roots. You know, all, most of my generation grew up with a closet full of comic books, and I'm no different. It might not sound like a big deal, but that's, that's a big shift in the way a 2D artist like myself looks at their work. I mean, I, I haven't become a comic book artist or anything like that, but I am much more interested in, in in telling stories in a, in a cinematic kind of way. And I think you'll see that in, in this version of the poem. Each one of these movements um, kind of has its own little story arc but they're all connected in, in some way. Even though they're stylistically different, they all have a certain connection, whether it's, um, you know, it's t the period of time or like a recurring element here or there. Well, for, for example, um, in, in Mars, um, we open on a <clears throat> what seems to be a peaceful, maybe Belgian or Fre uh, French village, imagining the war on the horizon. The same village shows up in peacetime in Venus, and then the same village shows up again, incidentally, in a different medium, in a different, slightly different style, but the same village, the same image, shows up again in Mercury. It's, it's not animation, really, um, but we come close in a couple sequences. Uh, oh, in Mars, there are Two sides of two armies attacking each other, uh, you know, in, in sequential screens. Uh, there are falling bodies. Uh, and I started with Mars because it's the first movement, and it is also the most dramatic, I think, and has so much visual um, intensity. Once we got past um, um, war, peace, the winged messenger, which is Mercury, then comes Jupiter, and it, it has big music and, and lively music, and and I thought, okay, what 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 was happening? What happened after? Let's imagine the world you know, after peacetime uh, arrived in 1918, and so I leaned a lot on all all my own personal research and interest in Paris center of the, of the artistic world in, in 1918, 1920, and that period. And, and that's, that's the imagery that I, I built upon. And it demanded a lot of color, I, I thought. It, it demanded some architectural imagery. I didn't want this to be only figures moving around the screen. I wanted, I wanted landscapes, I wanted architecture, um, maybe some still life uh, imagery. And so that's always important, variety. There's a lot of oil, oil paint on paper with pastel. There are, there's oil on canvas, like I said, large paintings. There are smaller, um, more organic monotypes. Um, there are drawings, uh, there's a little bit of collage. So that's, that's part of, the, that's the essence of what I, uh, really what I love about this, this project is 
It gives me a chance to explore three or four mediums that I love. So much happens within that 50, 55 minutes, and, and all the way from war to peace to, to joy to old age. I mean, what more could you ask for as, a, as a, any kind of an artist, I think, thematically? It's been fun. It's kept me, kept me young, kept me excited, um, and I'm, I'm having the time of my life right now. <laughs>